previously on The Plot Thickens. Okay, we have a plan. I feel better. I feel like I have direction in my life now. And of course it's on the strength of my friends and our friendship and that bond and the relationship that we have and how we interact and also sort of the social integration between us as people and also basically just sort of the memories and the sort of forward thinking of those memories basically keeping us cohesive as a group all of that well yeah so okay too many words that was a lot not even for me i think i got scared and i just said the same thing like eight different ways Ooh. <laughs> wordiness i'm gonna have to work on that in my course yeah so um on the strengths of my friends and them telling me when i'm wrong but don't because it hurts my feelings I'm going to be an entrepreneur and have my own school for creative writing and probably that's it because I don't know I'm comp you know, competent to teach other things. Oh wait, am I competent to teach writing? It's going to be self-guided. I'll put, yeah, the, I'll put the onus on the student to figure it out and um, we're going to have a great time and I can't wait and I should also probably put some signs up. Well, hello, everybody. We are super happy you are here because Oodalali, do we have a fantastic show for you this evening. That's right, you've stumbled upon our long-form show, where uh, this time we are uh, joined by a group of writer friends. You know, sometimes they're all here, sometimes they're all not. This is one of those times when they're not, but it's improv, so we're going to figure it out as we go. This one's about to get a little wacky. Let's dive into The Plot Thickens. <laughs> Okay, so T. Cuddy, I'm a little confused about this syllabus guideline that you wrote for me. I just, I guess I need a little clarification. Because, you know, me being a professor and all. Oh. I just, yeah. I'm just no, I mean, I'm really glad you're bringing back notes. I was really hoping that you yeah. would. I pulled this from a template on uh -huh. the internet and it came preloaded with a bunch of words. And I didn't really understand it, so I figured it's probably smarter than me. Okay. And um, yeah, I just kind of put in the titles and a couple things about myself. Uh, yeah, what kind of what kind of improvements should I make to it? Um, okay, first off, who is Lamaze? I think it's a literary reference. Okay. Okay. All right, so we'll, we'll be talking about Lamaze. All right, cool. But if you don't know, and I don't um... know... Maybe you shouldn't be on there. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we can, maybe we, that can be like the second semester. Yeah. We got to work up to Lamaze. Okay. Um, next, I don't know what kind of building we're in. Am I going to be teaching on the pelvic floor? Yeah. No, our, thanks for asking. Uh, we are, we're in the science and experience museum <laughs> and um, we're currently hanging out inside a, you know, a room that's made to look like the interior of a human you know, chest cavity or whatever. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be pretty much uh, focusing on my, my telecommute is going to be in the intestines and you can perch wherever you want. Uh, okay. The gallbladder has been pretty nice in the past, mm -hmm. uh, but you could go, you know, whatever. <gasps> Classic with the stomach. Yeah. I could go to the liver. That's the part where all, they takes out all the booze. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. yeah, I just found that they had the best Wi-Fi of the, uh, that was available anywhere in town. <laughs> and it you know, works this is for really me. an online thing. Ugh, works for me. Okay, yeah. I mean, the rest of this probably looks pretty boilerplate. Is, uh... I thought so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it came on the template. Yeah. So it's like default. I don't know if you're a king, though, it's talking about crowning, but we can get to that later. So, is, is Whitney going to be teaching, too? I, like, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not against it. Whitney knows her stuff, but also, like, is she, you know? Look, we weren't, I thought we weren't friends anymore. What are you talking and about? Now, you gave me a professorship. No, you, Chad, no, you're great, man. You're the best of us. Well, thanks. But, you know, I thought that Whitney wasn't my friend anymore. Oh. And I thought it was one-sided. I thought that it was only me that, or it was only her, or I, it doesn't matter who okay. it was. Uh, 
but I thought that we weren't friends anymore, but now I'm just so confused. I don't understand. So I'm hoping that she will accept my invitation and show up here in the human body to, you know, talk it out. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Okay. I hope she'll teach here. That would be so Dude. cool. She has such an aura and her character development. Like how many different kinds of vampires can you come up with? You know what I mean? Like if yeah. I was a writer and I was only going to write about vampires, I would get bored fast. And she always has something different about the characters, you know? It's true. It's true. A lot of times the name, the character, other features. Yeah, that's it's really important. Characters, so, different names. I really respect that, you know, her yeah. inventiveness and her writing style and the fact that she's already been published once before. Yeah. Yeah. You know? She doesn't even But like at the cool. same time, if she says no, I'm going to have no. to preemptively fire ah! her. Oh. All right. This that was a, okay. This place okay. has really good Wi Fi. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Holy it's shit, pretty dude. cool. Okay. Okay. Let me catch my breath. Yeah. You okay <clears throat> there, Chad? It's way better. Yeah. It's way better than the library. <laughs> so let me get my heart right down. Nice to be snuck up on. I didn't mean to sneak. I've been sneaking up on a lot of people lately. Uh, so it's it's good. It's it's part of your charm. Just to uh, heard. Yeah. Well, you know, after <clears throat> the incident, I found that I need to uh, not draw as much attention to myself for a while. Yeah, or don't get into a windmill that's like notoriously one direction, like only one way in and out. Look, that windmill has one of the best views in town, okay? It's not okay, my no fault. Way. It's not my fault that Brad got upset that I dumped him, okay? And sent a mob after me to my, med my Brad move. sacred meditation spot. Yeah, it's just like, it's bad. It's hard enough to be broken up with yeah. by one person. But when you get broken up by one real person and then there are thousands of sock puppet accounts online, it's it can be overwhelming. I can't, you know, I just want to always make sure that the the message is very clear. That's all. I don't want to ever leave a doubt in someone's mind of like, oh, maybe here's like a, a little bit of hope. You know, I want to dash every last bit of hope once a decision's been made. Yeah, no, you do a pretty, pretty thorough job of that. Mm -hmm. Really extinguishing any, any remaining light. It was pretty awesome. But I'm honestly. proud of you for standing up for yourself. You know? Thanks. And, I mean, the, they may or may not rebuild the windmill. I don't know. We could hold out hope for that. I hope so. I really like it there. I'll just have to wait it out. Yeah. It might take a while, but that's fine. I got the time. Yeah, you kept saying that. You kept saying, I have all the time in the world. Yeah, because time is a construct, Travis. <gasps> oh. What? So what if we deconstruct time? Then what? Then you could can we? build. Is that possible? You could build a hospital, I guess. Oh, oh, that's boring. I don't want to build a hospital. I build something you, cool. Like what about a, like a jet ski? What ramp. about if we don't want to deconstruct? What if we just want to oh. turn it back? If you we could turn, turn back, back time, time. Yeah. Well, we could find a way. What if? <laughs> I mean, we could try. I'm down. What do we do? I like it. I, I don't know a lot about time, so, honestly. Yeah. So, boy, deconstructing time, that's a big, big concept. And speaking of big concepts, uh, I think we should probably address the question that's on everyone's mind right now. How Is many oranges or could a giraffe eat before it died? Is that not the question? Okay, first question, how many oranges could a giraffe eat before it dies? And then we'll get to mine. We'll get to mine. That was one that's on my mind. Sorry. I, but I actually, as soon as I heard that one, I was like, yes, I got to know that. And like, what kind of orange? Are we talking about like, like navel? Like, what sort of oranges? Because that could make a difference, I bet. For sure. I mean, there's so much room, so much vertical space. That's why I was thinking about it. That's why I was 
I didn't get any sleep like last this, night. I've had the same question about a zebra, right? But I never took it to that next <laughs> level of what if it was what if it was actually a giraffe? Because a zebra is basically a horse, right? Yeah. Well, so it's a giraffe, but it's got like a, a long, long neck. neck. Yeah. yeah. Like a really long neck. Like it got stretched out. Like it was like someone picked it up by its little <laughs> nubby antler thingies eh, and carried it. Like it was carried around for a long period of time by the little nubby antlers. <laughs> and then that stretched out its neck. Like the whole body was just hanging there. And it was like, what's the weakest part of the body? The neck. The nuts. Right? The neck. <laughs> and so that's the <laughs> bit that stretched out. Maybe other bits, but the neck is notable. <laughs> it's pretty notably weak <laughs> and long in the case of the giraffe. So, okay, standard orange. Yeah. Are we talking like standard supermarket orange, or are we talking farmers market orange? Oh, oh yeah. Let's be generous. Yeah. Let's say it's a real nice farmers market. Like organic say and it's shit. Straight from the orchard. Yeah. I think yeah. if you like pick the orange apart, you could probably get like a bushel or something. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm on board. A bushel of a bushel orange of oranges. segments. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that That makes sense. That jives. Yeah, it's okay. Little, Science I checks seen out. A giraffe in real life, but that seems to check yeah, out. No one has. I would think they couldn't you couldn't just give them a full it's not like they'd swallow a full orange. Might choke. They might not even like can oranges. Even they might give, be citrus intolerant. Can you? Can you? Yeah, but could you? Can you even give a giraffe a Heimlich? Like, how would that even work? Well, if a giraffe has a diaphragm, does it have ribs? Yeah, I've never had giraffe ribs. I bet they're big. But they're big, but they're tasty. Yeah, but like everything's got to go out through the neck. It's a long neck. Okay. Yeah, no, fair point. The amount of pressure required to accomplish something like that. Yeah. You need like at least seven. At least seven pressures. At least seven pressure. Is that, is that the imperial scale? Yeah. No, it's the rebellion scale. Yeah, it's, it, was based on, it was based on how hard King Louis could blow into a balloon. But makes then, sense, makes if sense. you could get oranges in the giraffe and you could do the Heimlich with sufficient pressure, you could have a giraffe orange cannon. And if you segment it like Whitney was saying, then it's like a machine gun. Yeah. Just, you know, <laughs> orange segments just sailing out there. Dude. Think of that. Think of that with the barrel on that pup puppy. <laughs> Come on. It's not a puppy. Okay. It's Accurate. a giraffe. Well, if it's a young giraffe, isn't it like a puppy giraffe? Oh, but if it's a young giraffe, then called? it's not it got a long neck. Oh, shit. Because it hasn't been picked up and carried by its weird nubby antlers yet. That's just a horse. Then we might as well be asking about the zebra. <laughs> God. <sighs> All right. Done. Second question. What was it? Oh, yeah. Do you hate me or something, Whitney? What? Well, look, like when Norm left and was mad at me, he wrote a big old letter and said everything I was doing wrong and and stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh And I was like, well, maybe he doesn't not like me. Maybe he left for a different reason. But then he said, no, it was because I was annoying him. Now, and then when you disappeared and nothing, no letters not even a period, like nothing, not a single idea of why. So I figured, okay, well, gosh, you must hate me then. And is that true? You got that rash, though. You got that rash, remember? Yeah. I broke out into a rash. I was so upset. Okay, Travis, I'm going to... And I thought maybe it offended you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this, and I'm going to try and only say it one time. Okay, so I need your listening right, well, ears. Let's... Let's go, let's go huddle at this large intestine then. All right. Okay. It's got a lot of insulation. Being friends with me means that I will disappear once in a while, but that doesn't mean that I'm not your friend. 
that just means that I disappear once in a while. Well, yeah. Okay. Because I have more friends than just you, Travis. Well, duh. No, I know that. I mean, we've been friends since high school. Yeah. I've and, got, and friends, right? I, I knew we were friends. Yeah. And, and you know, I disappear because I've got a strict, a strict schedule as I go from friend group to friend group. I make sure that I'm there. I establish myself long enough that people are comfortable to yeah. open up, maybe form some actual potent, strong react like connections, and then I disappear to the next friend group because I'm afraid of having serious connection. Okay. Yeah, you got it's coordinated with the moon phases and everything. Exactly. We understand that. Exactly. But I'm just asking because even though this happens all of the time and this is in no way materially different at all, I just thought because of all the drama that's been going on and me, you know, being a disgraced professor and everything. You are a disgraced professor. Maybe, yeah, that's true. I know you made that <laughs> so clear. Yeah, I really try to. I want to make things as clear as possible. And I appreciate that about you. It's what I like about you. You make everything clear and you are really forthright which is why this was so weird that you hated me but didn't say anything it's, so i had to ask okay well please you have to understand okay so i don't hate you and you're my friend and just to make sure you. that it hits home i'm gonna use my thousand accounts on tiktok to send you messages <laughs> oh, to boy. let you know oh you done it now Here we go. i don't hate you pocket's about to blow up here we go. All right. I'm just I'll I'll do it in groups, okay? So you'll get you'll get like 25 every little batch fourth hour. Yeah, until we're through all of them. Okay. So it'll only be a couple days. All yeah. right. Thank you. Will you be a professor at my new school? No, I will not. T Cuddy Academy's no. Oh, no? No. What if I like offered that you would eventually get paid? Is this like a Skillshare thing? Oh, is it? Chad, can we do a Skillshare thing? I mean, we have to bring, like, skills. So. Mm. I'll, make, I'll make a video. I'll make some vids. I'll make some VODs and oh, give them to VODs. you. And then you, pay, you make people pay a yearly membership. And then I get paid for whoever ta uh -huh. takes my course. There you go. Okay, guest lecturer at Dude, least. Give me oh, some. Yeah. As long as it's like that and it's like passive income, then sure. But otherwise, Just, no. Yeah. Be like that's, a that's the best kind. It's top tier. Yeah. It's good shit, yeah. dude. You are your own boss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not wrong. Yeah. What do you think, Chad? You, you got a 50 50 stake in the company. <laughs> you think we could go for this? Well, I mean, first off, Whitney's like hella smart, dude. Right? Oh, indeed. It was like a scientific fact. Oh, yeah. I read about it in a magazine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, third, in a Whitney magazine? has been published in the real world. The only one of us. D, Whitney's our friend. I say we go for it. <sighs> well, when you put it together in a case like that, I mean, it seems, it seems watertight. It was a pretty brief case, but yeah. 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 No, I think it's good. I think that we could we could add a, attach a, that idea from all angles and it's uh, it's going to hold up. Okay. Whitney, I think we can I think we can come to an arrangement. Okay. How much do you need up front for oh. like recording and buying a camera and everything? Oh, I have all that. Yeah, I know, but it's just weird. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's just weird if it's not, if like, if you use company equipment, then it's like all understood and we know like, you know, it'll be a tax write-off, I think. I already had it us. as a tax write-off. I can't tax write it off it a second time. Okay. IRS not big into double dipping. Not really, no. Also, remember T. Cody, you promised all the film equipment to the interpretive poetry dance class. Oh, yeah. I guess. Yeah, because no one gets it, right? No. no one gets it. When I try to explain what it is, they don't understand. So I figure out if I film it, you can't deny it. You got to see it to believe it. That's how the world works. If you see it, it's real. I'm learning that. Yeah. I'm trying to be really savvy 
You know, as an yeah. entrepreneur, I want to be savvy. I mean, I, I think it's is... pretty savvy. I think. Do I think that? I want to make moves. Yeah. What does savvy a, moves. What does savvy mean to you, Travis? Uh, like uh, thrifty, I guess. Like that grocery um, you know, store? Being responsible with your money. You know, you're a savvy kind of person with your money. Like you, you want to savvy it a lot. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to describe to me what a savvy person looks like. Oh, boy. Okay, you're not going to believe this. And I know that this might look like a check against me as a creative writer. But I'm one of those people that cannot envision things in my head. You got a Fantasia, bro. Oh, no. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I love that movie. Yeah, you have one in your head, which means you can't okay. see shit in your head. I don't think anyone so can. So all of the thoughts that I would have had about like hippos dancing, ballerinas and everything, that got taken. Yeah. So there's nothing left. Nothing. Okay. I don't know. Is that a good answer, Whitney? I mean, I'll do your website for a thousand dollars. Okay, that's a deal. It's a good deal. I have that's a good deal. Tried. I have tried. They say it's easy now with templates, and I don't get it. So I will pay anything for a website. And Travis knows his way around templates. Excuse Trust me. Trust me, I've seen one or two. Excuse me, Dean Master Cuddy, Esquire. Which I don't know why okay. I insisted on that. I don't hate it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is such an exciting time. I'm so happy to have you on board, Whitney. Yeah. Um, you... Is Norm going to be here? Because if he is, I should probably leave. I gave Norm free tuition to join as a student. Okay. But also, I am not 100% convinced he's going to take me up on that. We're not. And even if he did, it's remote and self directed right i mean so there's like, a good chance you like never ever is, cross paths is he gonna be here like in this in location the large intestine i just i don't really want to be in his aura right now okay i mean it is very possible he'll have the option to come in um i mean i could tell him to stay at the world of magnetism exhibit is that far enough away and like interference from all the magnets, would that help with the aura? Probably, yeah. Magnets, how do they work? Uh, no one knows. <laughs> I will keep that in mind. Honestly, I haven't heard from him since, you know, for a while. You know, ever since the hubbub at the windmill, you know, and I think he like seemed really intent on like being the white knight or whatever. Yeah, that was weird. But then you just glided down from the top and you were okay after all. And, yeah. and so we didn't really have to do anything. Yeah. I think maybe he was put off. Yeah. That's why I think it would just be a little awkward. Um, I don't even know he had a horse. Him. Like, what, am I, what, what are you supposed to tell someone? I'm sorry. You couldn't save me fast enough. I saved myself. I don't know. It seems rude. Actually, yeah. That exact thing you should probably tell him. No, that seems rude. It doesn't, I mean, it's, it's the truth. It's norm. Like it is the truth, but just because it's the truth doesn't mean that it's the right timing, you know? That is so true. That is so true. I agree with both of you, I suppose. Can I get a commitment from you, Whitney, that if there are any breaches of a perimeter, how chill would you be able to be? Like, are we... I will Avoiding be as physical violence. No, what? What? No, I will be as chill as the dead. I will be dead chill. Yeah. Dead chill. That sounds pretty badass. Okay. okay just trying to parse that. Don't. Don't. Trying to read between the don't. lines. Nope. What did we talk about? What did we talk about? Well, uh, we talked about. Not reading between lines exactly. because there's no one, no one's actually writing in there. Exactly. And so it's just, I'm going to be making up things based on random mm -hmm. patterns and paper fibers. Mm -hmm. But it's so compelling. It is. Addiction's a hell of it a is. drug, bro. I heard that. You're addicted to line reading. And that's okay. Yeah. 
I knew some actors that were like that. They had a problem with it. <laughs> oh, wow. That's right. You know actors. Yeah. Yeah. My family does. Yeah. D- I forget. Did I ask if you ever met Tom Cruise? Me? Have I asked you that before? Like, have you ever uh, had dinner with him or anything? Like, did he come over to your family home? Like, I think or, like, so. Or, like, even just ran into him? One time. Yeah. Wow. I'm so impressed. But to get back to my question, I said, do you think we'd be able to manage to avoid physical violence? And oh, you said, physical, no. Physical violence. I'll be chill like dead people. Yeah. How, Is that your final answer? Yeah, there won't people. be any physical violence. I'll be chill like dead people. I'll be okay. chill like dead people. Like a dead person. Okay. I mean, I don't foresee A dead it. person that's walking around living and breathing, but dead. <laughs> Well, I figured that was implied. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. I don't, again, I don't see it being a problem. Norm has completely ghosted me. He's done a Casper the Unfriendly Ghost. And I have like lost all touch. Does that mean he's bringing you a present when he comes back? Yeah. I can only hope. All right. I think Chad's Ah, got a point though, because sometimes. A lot of times, Travis, I think you jump to conclusions so quickly. When? Maybe just wait when for the present. When did I do that? Just wait for the present. Whoa. Whoa. I'm sorry. See, I told you, Whitney's hella smart, dude. You're the one that's Wish, saying it, the though, Chad. Chad. What? You're, you're the one that's oh. saying it. Oh, yeah. Chad, you're so gifted. Yeah. I guess. I just, you know. Try to like say it like it is or should be sometimes. Have you ever so, yeah. worn just like all black before, Chad? Ah, all black. Yeah. Ah, black is slimming. I gotta, I gotta have these guns stand out. Right. I need thicking. Black right. is too slim. I need oh, thicking. Okay. You can have the no sleeve look and still be wearing black. black yeah. But then I'm gonna look like a martini glass. How so? Because martinis got the thick are slim. up here. My the slim with the waist, yeah. Because the top of the is thick, and then it it goes in. Travis, have you never, okay. have you ever had a martini? No, but I've seen them on the movie, and I thought that you were suggesting that you were going to become partly invisible, and I was just like, "What? Why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think about one of the magi being invisible?" The Invisible Man. He he was the fourth wise man. I didn't even know he was there. What's his name? What's his story? What's his whole deal? If he wanted you to know, he wouldn't be invisible. Would he, T. Cuddy? And that's just like the mystery. Yeah. It's the mystery of the Invisible Martini Man. It's not ours to know in this lifetime. (laughs) So true. I guess I do on occasion, rarely... But sometimes jump to a conclusion. It's happened. Do you, do, you, do you want me to correct you again? No. Just, just, that's what I thought I'd ask first. I think I should be. I think it would be good to be corrected. Okay. You, you jump to so many conclusions, it's like you have springs in your shoes. No, don't. See, no, You're I knew, I knew it. No. I knew it. I, sh- I, I knew it Don't when I asked. Know. I knew it when I asked. Walked Not myself into that trap. Man. Uh. Not spring man. <laughs> Don't say that. You're spring man. Oops. Spring man. Yeah. Spring. Have man. you ever considered how self-conscious I am about being spring man? That's the first step on the road to fixing it. Is guilt and shame. <laughs> okay. When do I start? I think you already did. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wild. That was, uh, <sighs> I told you, did I not tell you it was about to get wild and weird? Absolutely did. So you're all welcome for that. I hope you enjoyed that. Because if you didn't, then I, it's understandable. We all have different tastes in art and comedy. But also, if you didn't, you should enjoy it because it's really good. Anyway, that was today's episode of The Plot Thickens. We'll be back next time with another normal format 
episode with a bunch of different games and things that we do all at the same time. So, until next time, I've been Cody. I've been Dave. I've been Jess. And boy, heck, did we thick that plot. We'll see you next time. Bon voyage. But Goodbye. For now. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. If you enjoyed this show, then please consider subscribing on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher, or follow us on Spotify. If you really enjoyed the show, then head on over to patreon.com slash timewastepod and become a supporter of our time-wasting efforts. Now, that was a lot of things I just threw at you, so if you forget all that, just head on over to wastingallthetime.com, and there we have all the answers. 